From several years ago, I started realizing that I was spending more time in front of my computer than um, really any human being in my life. <laughs> and, um, started to think about all of the same kinds of uh, emotional, psychological responses to this machine. Um, and so this piece is, uh, there's a, an audio track that goes with it that sort of talks about this uh, relationship and it never is completely clear whether it's with a person or with um, mm -hmm. a machine. Um, makes a lot of connections to the body again and the interior workings of a, of a computer or a machine. Well, let's, let's take a, a look and, and a listen and we may talk over this a little bit as, okay. as you have a, the desire to. So what are we looking at here, Elizabeth? Um, this is uh, just the, the very beginning of the video leading into this idea of uh, working on the machine and then sort of entering into it, I suppose. Um, so I'm working with um, After Effects and was interested in, in playing around with uh, layering up images of, of both the uh, interior workings of the computer. Yeah, you're right, in the guts of the computer. Yeah, exactly. And, the, uh, and actually the surface of the body, the skin. Well, that's a relationship that probably um, Almost every viewer who's watching right now will have a, a relationship with their computer that mm -hmm. um, at times may be more profound and intense than with the people around them, even if they're with people that they, they love and care for. Right, right, exactly. Now, we, you and I cannot hear the, the audio, but it, what, what, would, what are the viewers hearing? Um, it's um, sort of a monologue of a uh, uh, female voice, my voice, um, sort of talking about the um, challenges and the difficulties of uh, communicating with this other entity, um, as well as some of the, the more positive uh, connections or um, I think there's a repetition of, um, oh, I can't remember the, uh, the exact language, your input, my output. Um, so really using also a lot of the language from technology um, and sort of trying to make connections um, using that, that vocabulary to uh, some sort of relationship. Talk to me a little bit about video art itself because we're going to look at a couple more pieces um, by you. This is a, a medium that is available to anyone who has an internet connection, so in that regard it's much more accessible. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not, we, we do see video art in galleries, but it, there's also kind of a, a different than, uh, way of displaying than, than um, people would normally expect from a piece of art. In a, in a gallery in a, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the, there's, um, well, you know, and, and that's changing with, mm. um, with YouTube, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, I think people are becoming more and more comfortable looking at moving images and mm -hmm. video. Mm -hmm. um, but, but at the same time, I think it is still somewhat problematic in, in galleries and museums. People... Um, you know, our attention span is this big. It and, really is, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's definitely something to consider as a, as a video artist. Well, I, I guess when I'm thinking, when I go to see a, a video piece in, in an art museum, often it's a, in a room by itself. Mm -hmm. um, it's quiet. There, It may be full, it may be empty, but you come in, usually in the middle of the video, right. you sit down. If you're intrigued by it, you may sit through until it starts up again and gets back to where you came in, mm -hmm. but it is very much a, a, an experience of 
being partially um, there for the work of art and not seeing it in the way that you would just a painting on the wall. Right, exactly. Um, yeah, that's something that I've uh, tried to be uh, conscious of with my own work. Um, I'm not necessarily interested in, in narratives, mm. in telling stories with a, a beginning, middle, and end. So um, most of my work, um, I. I'm, I hope you could enter into that room mm -hmm. halfway through mm -hmm. and um, see a portion of it and still and understand. And the power of the imagery would somehow convey whatever. Yes, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. communicate um, some of the idea. And, and then I, I'd hope that you'd stay and, and see the whole thing. <laughs> and from and see it all the way end. through. Right. Well, let's, uh, I think we're going to uh, go to a, another piece, and I, I, I just um, want to show as much of your work as we can on this week. So the next one, um, I got Everybody's uh, Everywhere and Nowhere. Right, and these um, videos are parts of an installation that I did um, at the Morris Gallery at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. Uh, museum in Philadelphia a couple years ago um, and the installation consisted of three projections uh, this was one of them this um, flash animation which is uh, just a linear uh, or an animation of a, a line drawing um, and it's outlining my body as I walk through this space um, there's a second projection that was a um, sort of a straight on video and then a third one that was a live um, transmission, uh, webcast transmission from my studio in LA into the gallery uh, in Philadelphia. And then all three of these projections were um, surrounded by mirrors. Oh, wow. So uh, when the viewer walked into the, the gallery space, there it goes, uh, all of the projections were reflected um, as well as the, the um, body of the viewer. Uh, this is you in your studio? No, oh, no this, this is, is a, an excerpt from the video. So the video uh, shows imprints um, in the snow, um, writing in the sand, um, pieces of clothing that have been uh, removed, but the sort of the imprint of the body mm -hmm. remains. So, uh, you know, it's interesting, this is a new kind of self-portraiture that, um, that you're doing in, in video. Uh, mm -hmm. what, what do you want people to know about Elizabeth Leister, the artist, as you, um, mm -hmm. you know, show these images that are um, integral to who you are? Who, who are you? It's a tough question. Wow. <laughs> um, the humming, hmm. churning sound of the machines outside. Um, I, I'm not sure how to answer that. Um, who am I as an artist? Yeah, who, who, who are work? you trying to convey? What, 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 what sort of a persona do you, are you trying to project? Is it someone who's deeply serious, someone with a sense of humor? Um, how would you describe yourself that way? Um, you know, I think it sort of changes with the work. Um, you know, early on, that, that installation, Delusions, a tongue-in-cheek mm -hmm, boutique, mm -hmm. I mean, there was a... There's there was, a real sense of humor there. There was a definite yeah. sense of humor there, and, and it was um, it was a fun piece to do, but there were still ideas behind mm -hmm. that bet behind that project, and uh, I think about that sense of humor and worry that maybe I've lost it <laughs> and <laughs> um, maybe need to go back to that, because I think the work has become more serious. This piece um, actually has, a, has sort of a somber quality it to does, it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. But in, as you said, in both cases, you're really concerned about ideas. 